Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to find the relationship between voltage and the electric field. Assume that we have two metal plates, one on the left, one on the right. We have some additional positive charge on the left plate and some additional charge on the right plate, which will then create an electric field between the two plates. And the electric field emanates from the positive charge to the negative charge. So we have an electric field that's directed from left to right. And let's say that we have an electric field of 100 newtons per coulomb in the positive x direction. Let's also assume that the plates are 2 meters apart. Now, what we can say is that when we have an accumulation of positive charge, that's usually associated with positive potential. When we have an accumulation of negative charge, that's usually associated with negative potential or high potential and low potential. Again, it's the difference that matters, not so much that one is positive or negative, because that's somewhat arbitrary. So we can say then that on the left side of the play, on the left side of this electric field here, we have a higher potential, a higher voltage, and on the right side we have a lower potential, a lower voltage. And we can denote that by V sub A and V sub B. So that the voltage at A, VA, is higher than the voltage at B, VB. Now what we find is that we can define the potential difference between those two plates, between VA and VB, as follows. We can call it the difference in potential, we can call it the difference in voltage, or we can say delta V. The symbol right here, the little triangle, is the Greek letter delta, and that means the difference in voltage between A and B, and that's defined as the voltage at A minus the voltage at B. Now in this case, since the voltage at A is a higher potential than the voltage at B, VA minus VB will give us a positive quantity. It's also defined as the product, in this case the dot product, with the, between the electric field and the displacement, the distance between the two plates. So it's the magnitude of the electric field, the distance between the two plates, times the cosine of the angle between the direction of the field and the direction of the displacement. Now in this case, since we go from A to B, the direction is from A to B, and that means that we're going to take voltage at A and subtract from that voltage at B, which is defined as E times D times the cosine of the angle, but in this case the angle is zero degrees because the direction of the electric field and the direction of the displacement is the same. The angle is zero degrees, which is equal to one, or I should say the cosine of zero is equal to one, so 100 times two is 200 newton meters per coulomb. Now you say, well, wait a minute, newton meters per coulomb, didn't you tell me that the unit for voltage is volt? The answer is yes. But if you look at it here, a newton meter is the same as a joule, and a joule per coulomb is defined as volts. So it turns out newton meters per coulomb is indeed volts. And so we can write this as being equal to 200 volts. Notice it's a positive volt because it, it uh, gives us the difference between the voltage at A and the voltage at B, and it'll be VA minus VB, VA being a higher voltage, so expect a positive answer. But we can also talk about it in terms of the difference in voltage going from B to A. Now since B is a lower potential, and A is at a higher potential, going from B to A means that is a negative change, that's a negative difference. VB minus VA, VB is smaller, VB is, VA is larger, that will give us a negative difference. Again, it's the dot product between the electric field and the displacement. It's still ED times the cosine of theta. However, in this case, the angle is 180 degrees because the electric field is directed towards the right, and the displacement going from B to A is directed to the left. That's a 180 degree difference. The cosine of 180 degrees is a negative one, and therefore negative one times this gives us a negative 200 newton meters per coulomb, or a negative 200 volts. So you can see then, it's very important to realize two things. First of all, that voltage or potential means more when we talk about the difference in the potential between two locations like the left side and the right side of this electric field. And then it's also important that we go from one to the other or the other to the one. In other words, what is the direction of travel from our one location to the other location? The difference between VA and VB, meaning if we subtract VB from VA, we get a positive 200 volts. When we subtract VA from VB, we get a negative 200 volts. 
meaning VB is 200 volts lower than VA, VA is 200 volts higher than VB. As long as we keep that straight, we'll be in pretty good shape in our understanding and our quest to understand what voltage is. And that's how it's done.